PeteTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Pete's Tools. As you can see, I'm still playing around with my new Cut 50 plasma cutter. I've discovered that it uses a little bit more air, I think, than my other plasma cutters because it has the big torch on it. So what we'll do guys, is we'll do a cut and we'll see how far we can get out of one tank of air before it restarts again. And then what I'll do is I'll put it on a smaller compressor and you can see the difference. Anyway guys, same as usual, you like the video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below. And let's cut some shit up. Yeah! Now guys, with my new Cut 50 machine here, or Cut 55, it's the same bloody thing, this machine here takes a little bit more air than my other machines. See guys, I'm running this at the moment off my three horsepower, three head compressor. It's got about a 100, 120 litre tank, which is really not big enough if you're doing really long cuts. And I've got it set up to 100, between 100 and 110 PSI. And I've got it coming back on at about 50, 55 PSI. So if we do a bit of a cut, and I'll show you how much Air you use for about a foot long cut and you can judge for yourself so guys what we'll do is we'll pump it right up and I'll do a cut with the cut 50 machine and you can see how long this tank full of air lasts so guys the advantage of this machine I've found is that I like the gauge on the front of the machine so you're not always peering at the back to adjust it so what we'll do is we'll adjust it to about 60 psi and then we'll do some cutting and see how long before that big compressor of mine cuts in again and that'll give you some idea how much air you need. So if we wind it back guys to about 60 psi just like that, like I say I like it because it's got the, the gauge in front of the machine here so we're on 60 psi. Now let's see how much we can cut before the compressor starts up again. Eh? Right guys what we'll be cutting here is about two and a half foot long, maybe two and three quarter foot long and it is three and a half millimeters thick so you know that's where you make trailers out of and all sorts of things that's not ship metal it's quite good steel so what we'll do guys is we'll see how much of a cut we get before this compressor starts and that'll give you an idea how much air you need for your cut 50 machine charged up. I've got my fan dangled straight edge here. It's a magnetic straight edge that I made. I actually made a video on how to make one of these so check in the description and I'll put a link to that video. Right so let's do some cutting Pete. Rodeo coyote let's get into it. Right the compressor is fully charged. down here see that and then the compressor started again so what that means basically is that we need a whole lot bigger holding tank on that compressor to get us enough air to get through our cut mind you that depends on how much you want to cut if you just want to cut off rusty bolts and bits and pieces you're going to be able to do it with a lot smaller compressor than that 
But if you want to cut long sheets, like full length sheets, like 2.4 meter sheets, six foot long sheets of this, you're going to need three times the air capacity just for one stroke. So what I'll do guys, is I'll leave this all set up exactly the same, I won't cut this off here, so we know how far down we've come. Now I'm going to get a smaller compressor, put a smaller compressor here, we'll charge it up, we'll do exactly the same cut again, and you can see the comparison. So what we have here guys is my smaller compressor, see it here, it's about a third of the size of the other one. And if we go down here and actually have a look guys, you'll see that we're about 100 psi again. Just over 100 psi, but the holding tank volume on this is about a third of the other one. So we'll see how this one cuts, eh, in comparison. Right there guys, got exactly the same air pressure here, roughly the same air pressure on this little compressor. How far will this one cut? Get into it! So guys, this is how far we cut with the 3 horsepower, 3 head compressor, but only with like a 150 litre tank, so we got about a foot and a half out of that. Here's how far we cut at the same PSI with the little hobbyist compressor. So I think we got about a third guys, one, two, just a fraction over a third with the small compressor. So that just shows you the difference. But you'll find with the Cut 50 plasma cutter guys, it uses quite a bit of air. It actually uses a little bit more than my other plasma cutters I've done reviews on. For the simple fact that it's using a big plasma cutter torch. It's using a 100 amp torch, whereas the other ones are using a smaller torch. So therefore they can get away with a smaller airflow. But if you're just using your plasma cutter to cut up bolts or something like that, you've got a rusty bolt in the machine and you can't get in there with an angle grinder. I mean, a little compressor is ideal for that because it only takes 10 seconds to whack through a bolt like this. So guys, if you've got a bolt you need to chop out on a piece of rusty machinery or something, you can get away with a little compressor, no problem whatsoever. Here, I'll show you. See that guys? It's just when you're cutting long lengths of anything guys. So it just depends what you want to do with it in your workshop. So guys, that's about enough bullshit from me for the day. Same as usual, you like the video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below. If you want to see a review on this machine, I'll chuck a link up there. And we'll see you next time, mate. Eh? Bye. Peachtools.com.com.com.